television show together and get your own national television show. Amy Yamada joins us in the studio, and she's involved in a very special contest that involves Oprah. Amy, tell us about it. Uh, well, first of all, I want to say hi to everyone, and thank you so much for having me on Absolutely. the show. It's so exciting. Um, basically, what it is is Oprah and Mark Burnett, and he's the producer of The Apprentice and and uh, Survivor, so sure. he's pretty much the big reality show The big show con guy. show. Yes. Uh, they are working together to co-produce a new reality show competition called Your Own Show, using the word own very right. cleverly, because uh-huh. own is the Oprah Winfrey Network that she has now created because she's Oprah. This is just, <laughs> as if Oprah couldn't get any bigger. Right. <laughs> well, that's we, what you can do when you got your own production company. This is true. That's right. So they, they decided to work together on creating a new reality show. I don't know if it's going to be a series or just one time only. Sure. Uh, where they are looking for the next TV talk show host. So what they've done is they've said, hey, look, we, we know that there's going to be a need out here. And Oprah is going off the air here pretty quick. Is uh, that right? Next September, 2011. Okay. Mm-hmm. So she's going to be off the air, and she needs somebody to, I don't know if we can say take her place, because those are pretty big high heels to fill. <laughs> but right. uh, she's looking you for You wouldn't somebody. look good in high heels, man. No, maybe that's... I think you would. That's what... <laughs> Thanks, man. Welcome. <laughs> Appreciate the vote of confidence. Uh, so she's looking for somebody to to come in and kind of fill that role uh, as a new talk show host. Right. And so she has now gone and set up this competition where you can go and submit videos and uh, and basically audition. And and I want to mention, uh, Amy, you a dear friend. Uh, I have in my hand here uh, the press release. Yep, you got it. Uh, today, you've actually declared uh, vote for Amy Yamada on Oprah Day. Yes. Is that what I understand? That's so, right. How does this work? You can vote for people, uh, audition tapes to be in a, a, so popular so that you they get... You can vote for me. You can vote for Amy. Sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't specify yeah. here. Okay. So, Tell me yeah, how this get works. Get that right, yeah. man. Okay. So I've made it really easy for everyone. You go to amyonoprah.com, mm-hmm. and that takes you right to the site where my audition is uploaded. Okay. You can make comments on it. You can vote as many times as you like. Um, the votes don't go up in real time. So if you see the number not going up, don't worry. It's going to be okay. All right. <laughs> they get refreshed every hour. Good deal. And, um, and you'll get to see my, my audition right there. And if you go to my website, you can also see the bloopers video, which is pretty funny. So that's amyyamada.com. How much, Amy, does the viewer's input go into the final decision or do you know i do know so basically what it is is um from all the auditions that are submitted online the top five voted are guaranteed to go into the finalist pool that doesn't mean you make it onto the reality show but it makes you right able to go to la and meet the producers and then they can potentially select you however from all the auditions they're going to select a group of finalists to go down to Los Angeles next month, and then from that huge finalist pool of, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 people, they'll get to meet you, interact with you, interview you, and then select the final 10, which will then be on the reality show itself. Okay, Amy, the big question. Uh, okay. uh, Why enough. should you be the winner? I was going to say, enough of the softball question. <laughs> what, what makes you a good candidate for uh, the next, I don't want to call you the next Oprah, because you would be the next Amy. That's what, or oh, the same you. Amy, but, but what makes you a good candidate for this show? Uh, I believe I'd be a great candidate for the show because I'm very genuine. I like connecting with people. I like sharing positive stories because, as we all know, there's so much negativity out there. Right. And it'd be great to counterbalance that with all the positivity. And I know that your show is a lot about that as well. So I really can celebrate that kind of concept and bring people together so that I feel more like I'm an extended part of their family, their network. And then the guests on the show would be the same. They'd share their stories about things that they've overcome, and things that they'd like to recommend to people who've gone through what they've gone through, or even well-known people who've made it to where they are by taking certain steps and going through those obstacles and taking on new challenges and having people believe in them. I want people to believe in me that I can do this. Absolutely. And, and if anybody has, has met you, I know that you have a lot of friends listening at the moment. Uh, I'm sure that there's not a doubt uh, floating around there that you can do something like this. All right, now to, to the big question. Uh, if you, because we're kind of like motivation with a person, with a, per, with a purpose lobbyists over here. Right. What can you do for us? <laughs> <laughs> no, can- I'm just kidding. Um, no, we <laughs> Well, sure. Do you have an answer for that? I would love it. Well, the funny thing is, ever since I've been, I've had my audition uploaded, sure. so many people have said, 
can I be your Gail? Or when you get on your show, I want front row tickets or fly me out there. I'm like, sure, no problem. Cars for everyone. No, I don't know what kind of... Whoa, cars for everyone already. <laughs> hey, okay. I like that me one. too. I, th- I said we keep that one at the top of the suggestion. Yeah. Did I really say that on the air? No. Yeah, you may. Yes, That's you not did. for sure. I if got Oprah that. backs me on it, then yes. <laughs> Perfect. But, um, but no, I would think that... It's all about the community. It's not just about me, but it's about everyone around me who has inspired me to get to where I am today. And so, as um, as one of my good friends says, hey, if we get Amy famous, then we all get famous, right? <laughs> we all have we all have a connection to that Seattle girl who's made it big. And, That's right. Um, and when it comes down to it, I'm not looking to be the star. I'm looking to be the host. Right. So I want to bring people on, share their stories, of course, be a big part of it. But okay. I just who, think it'd be so exciting. Who would you have as your very first guest? Oh my gosh. Have you even thought that far? You know, I have you thought have about the plan. that. You know, and I know that people would probably want to hear some big, huge, famous star. Sure. I'd have my mom. I'd have my dad. Yes! Yes! See? I there would have go. my father. Mm-hmm. I was talking to him on my way here. And when people have asked me, who's been a huge inspiration in your life? And it's, it's my parents there and my father who came from nothing. He was, in a re- he was a refugee after World War II that had to travel from China to Japan and had nothing at the age of 10. Nothing. Now that's and an inspiring he story. Survived. He was part of the ten percent of those people that survived it. Wow! And so decided at a young age to live a very meaningful life and to raise us kids. I have two older brothers um, to appreciate everything that we have and every day that we have, and to not just dream big but make it big, and not in the sense of fame or fortune, but the in, in the sense of experience and doing what you're passionate about, and don't don't take less than what you want. Sure. Fascinating story. And not only, uh, man, I got to say, if, if you could do anything well in TV, it would be putting Amy Yamada on the air. Oh, uh, thank there's, you. <laughs> there's so much junk floating around. And I mean, with, with 375 million channels and uh, you know programming that runs around the clock, uh, there, there's enough negative on there that you could certainly go and offset that with some positive stories. And uh, as we try to do here on Motivation with the Purpose, you will do in front of the camera because we, as we like to say, have faces for radio. <laughs> So, yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, you uh, log on to uh, amyonoprah.com. You can also go to our website, uh, mwpradio.com. Click on hot links, and you can vote for Amy there. Thank you for vote, coming into the vote studio. Vote and vote again. You can vote as many times as you want. Thank and, you so much. Uh, as many times as you'd like to. It was very nice having you. Uh, vote for the local talent. Uh, this is going to be a big deal. There will be a lot of people uh, that see this, and there's a lot of Seattle pride around. Make sure that you get uh, your vote for Seattle pride in with Amy. Amy Yamada. Today's show is brought to you by Federal Financial Group. We'll be right back here on Motivation with the Purpose with the burnout topic. How to avoid it, what to do, and uh, how we can help you on Alternative Talk, 1150 AM, KKNW. On the of Tokyo, hope, I'm to London town to go, go.